this is, I'm just going to start applying the paint to the fish. And you can see it's a, it's a little heavier, um, that first application. And later on we'll, we'll blot it dry a little bit to, to lessen the amount of the paint. But I also do not paint the eye. I have seen videos where other artists actually do paint the eye, but I don't. Um, and then just follow the line of the fish all the way around with the first application of paint, leaving the fins dry. Because you'll, it, those will be coming up. So now is the blotting, and I actually used two pieces of paper towel or one folded in half uh, because it will leak through. And just rub the area that you've just put the paint on, and you can see that by blotting it, you're, you've taken a lot of the paint off. And now, as long as you don't have any little leaks anywhere, you're ready for your, your real rubbing. And I just kind of center it. And then you're just going to rub the area that you just applied paint to. And that's why they call it fish rubbing. You can see where the paint is starting to come through the paper in certain spots. And that's why you blot, because if you left all of that paint on, it would actually saturate and tear the paper. So now I'm going to fold up the piece of paper and I hold it with my hand and do the fins. Now this is a different technique, um, one that I just kind of stumbled upon and worked through on my own because I had found that when I applied paint all over the fish, it um, the fins would dry out so fast that I would have to go back and repaint the fins anyway. So I just have gotten to the point where if it's a small fish, I do it this way where I do the fins separately. Uh, it, for larger fish, it takes two people one to actually hold the piece of paper in place so you're not, so it's not twisting on you. And then I do the painting and holding the paper. And there's little spots that look too heavy, I'll dab off as I'm doing this. But you wanna be careful too with the fins because a lot of the fish are, have little needle point, sh sharp needle points on their fins and trust me, it hurts. So all that's left is the tail, and um, once that's done, you just lift it up and you have your mirror image of the fish on the paper. And next, in the next video, I'll show you how to finish off the eye. And other than that, you're signing it, and that's your basic yataka.